The basis of all the training we do is rapport. When people are communicating well, they naturally get into a physical symmetry and what's happening inside is their brain's mirror neurons are also activated and this allows people to start to think and feel in a similar way. What's the theme here? Similarities. Similarities. People gravitate to people who are like themselves. Human beings try and find things that are similar. We try and make connections. And the sooner that we do that, we, we find that things get easier. And that's called rapport. It means your brain waves get onto a similar level. Communication becomes easier. If you just notice in terms of body language, in the groups you're in, look how many people are stood in a similar fashion. There was a, po there was a point earlier on when you were stood there when, when three of you were like that. So this is going to be important in the second one, we're talking about rapport skills in terms of mirroring and, and body language and naturally the way you stand and present yourself. Mostly, we don't consciously pay attention to what someone else is doing, but when we do and we mirror their behaviour, it can make communication much easier. The other thing that's interesting as well, if you get right alongside somebody, you're on the same team. So if you get somebody on the night who is really kind of maybe getting into a panic or something like that, get alongside them because then you can talk to them. Psychologically, you're on the same team. Every single one of you was an expert in changing your state. I didn't tell you what to do. I just told you what to think about people. I'm naturally quite an outgoing person and to have to reverse that to be quite introverted, that was the bit I almost found quite uncomfortable, a bit more unnatural, but it, it did give you a perception as not everyone has the same characteristics as you, so it gives you an insight as to how other people might react to things. I think it's supposed to make you come out of your comfort zone so you actually realise what it's like and the actual experiences are quite raw within the role play itself. So I found it extremely fascinating, I really did. It was really good to know, you know, when to stop conversations and when to start them and how to continue and use our body language to help the person understand what we really mean. I think it's going to be very, very useful going forward. It's, it makes you look at your relationships with people in a completely different way. It, it was a great, great training session.